Hey, my little State Department agents, it's me, your Commander-in-Chief, the Knitted Anus. So besides the State Department using agent provocateurs to try and bait people into violence so that they can film us and say, look, they're violent, another tactic that they use is infiltration. They do this for everyone, the Black Panthers, anyone who's ever been a problem for the state, they infiltrate. Obviously, besides being like on the inside, spy on them and share information with the state and whatever, meetings or like resources or whatever, besides all of that being good for the state to infiltrate, another reason that they do it is because then they can control us even more by control what topics are being talked about and how they're being talked about. So if I wanted to infiltrate the left, what I would do is I would go on there and I would say, I'm a centrist. You know, I'm just a guy asking questions, right? Or be like, I'm a leftist. You just always repeat that you're a leftist, you're a leftist, you're a leftist. But then when you're actually talking about policies and stuff, you start slipping in little things that aren't actually like part of the left, you know? So that you start confusing the people who are watching you so that they don't actually know what the left stands for. So let's say I'm a really cool FBI agent or CIA agent and I just got out of the academy. I'm so stoked. I can't wait to start lying to people and using them and abusing them and like ruining their lives and stuff. So what I would do is I would get on Twitch and I would say, hey guys, I'm the best leftist, listen to me. My name is David Lackman or Lausch or Tim Lul or Philly L and then, or Fate. <laughs> and I go, hey guys, I really love left things, but you know what? The one thing I don't agree with is that everyone in Cuba is evil. They're all monsters. And you're sitting there watching, you've been down for all the other left stuff. You want free healthcare, you want free education, all that stuff. And then you go, wait, I thought that uh, we didn't really think that they're like any different or crazier than us. And I thought that we were just, you know, communist scaremongering so that no one would ever want to look into like what communism is and no one would want to look into Cuba and see like if it's actually a decent place to live, you know? So now everyone who's watched me, Fate, the great streamer, is going, oh, so maybe we don't like Cuba. Now you have a whole bunch of people who don't know what being in the left means and they're confusing all this stuff up, right? This is why they do it. I would also be like obsessed with another streamer who's getting like massive traction and who makes sense and who's charismatic and, and handsome and all this stuff. And I would dogpile on him constantly. I would say how awful he is and how dumb he is and how his ideas don't work and how he's not attractive. <laughs> I'd say that all day until you guys started believing it. And then guess what? I've also got the power of the state, so my videos are being seen by everyone. I even have control over the algorithm because every single company ever has CIA agents placed in it at the highest order. <laughs> Back to our Cuba topic, right? So I'm like, I'm a leftist and you guys believe me on the other stuff. You know, I'm progressive on most other things. I think gay people should be able to get married, which is like it's such the bare minimum at this point. But yeah, I'm progressive on everything else. You guys trust me. So my one weird thing is that I just don't like Cuba you know, it's, they're just really bad. They're evil. They actually aren't even humans. But yeah, that's it. Other than that, totally progressive. So you watch this and your only other frame of reference is that one other streamer, Hassan, because there's no one representing the left whatsoever on the internet. And you go, okay, well, I don't like that guy because late doesn't like him. So uh, I'm not going to listen to him. And then you don't even realize that your progressive ideas are conservative ideas, you know? because there's no education in this country. So instead they use influencers to peddle lies to us and to confuse you in the head. So then you double down on fate because he's way cooler than Hassan. Hassan is like kind of, you know. So then here's the one interesting thing. Do you think that fate the streamer who is totally progressive and on the left, except for his one little opinion about Cuba, do you think that he should let his audience know that he actually has very personal stakes in this? His great-grandparent owned a, a farm, a sugar farm in Cuba. They had a whole farm with workers and a, a business, you know? And then Fidel Castro came into power and he said, hey, you have too much. We're gonna split this up amongst everyone so that everyone has something. And they said, ah, this isn't fair. And then they went to America, right? But yeah, now the great-grandson of a plantation owner is streaming to thousands and thousands of Americans every single day, peddling that he's a progressive, 
with conservative values. Why would they be doing this, guys? There's already so few voices on the left, and I hate to say it, but a lot of the other ones are not left. And honestly, they're on the payroll. I'm not saying this because I don't like specific streamers or anything. And honestly, I feel really bad for the fans and stuff who've gotten sucked into this because you, you become parasocial with them, you know? And at a certain point, it's like their charisma and their personality takes over for the truth, you know? You start trusting them more. And, and that's really detrimental. It's like, it's getting bad. A lot of the people that you watch are on the payroll. Anyway, can we please get some more real, real, real leftists on streams? Like, I think a lot of people think that someone else is going to do it. But no, you need to do it. Go stream. Go talk about stuff. Because we need so much more representation from the left. It's really dismal how one-sided it is. It's, it, it's like 95% to 5%, you know? Think about it, guys. Every media company and basically every business is like right-leaning, right? So not only do we have to match them in the comments and in just normal people making videos and stuff, but we've also got to compete with all of the media companies. There is no left-leaning media, really. Like ABC, Fox, all these news channels, they have right-leaning views. They have conservative right-leaning values, all of them. CNN, MSNBC, all of them. Stop being scared that you don't know what you're talking about and start talking because pretty soon it's gonna be too late. Follow. Somebody wants to know which part of Cuba we came from. My grandfather's sugar plantation. Yeah, did this, did the... <laughs> what a weird um, reaction. Where we lived in Cuba, you would have enjoyed because um, we lived at least the last period of time that I remember we lived on my grandfather's sugarcane plantation. Oh. Yeah. I remember going out with us. Why isn't he engaging in this conversation? And I was, I left there at five years and one day. It's so like, he doesn't want to talk about for, it. Yeah. You know, I could go out and cut me down some sugarcane. Huh. Chills. What a weird reaction. But it was a fun place.